Welcome to the Egg Lewis Variety Show. Don't ask what it's about because I don't know. No, I just do whatever I feel like doing, and hopefully it makes somebody smile. Double time because we got business to attend to today. No preamble, no games, no jokes. Suicide Squad versus Cynthia. Pro four, fourth or fifth or sixth time fighting her, second time on camera. Let's go. All right. Oof. I gotta do a heal up. And then it's on to the big C once again. And that could stand for Cynthia or Champion. It's up to you. But either way, same thing. Oh man. It's almost time. All right, let me heal up before I go through the door. Oh, man. I really want this to be the one. I really want this to be the one. This team, you know, I know I call them the Suicide Squad, and I say I don't care about them, and they were Pokemon I didn't want. They're kind of like the middle... They're like the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man of Pokemon teams. They're the awkward middle child that nobody really asked for. But, still... With that being said, I am very much rooting for them to succeed. I'm going to do a quick PP check on all the Pokemon. I know I want to use one of my PP restores. Maybe I'll use one on Super Fang. Yeah, I'll use one on Super Fang. Uh, and I'll use one on Parish Song. I think that's all I really need, actually. Just to make sure those are all the way up there. We'll use a, a Max Ether for Super Fang. And we'll use a regular Elixir. For PP. Oh, it fully restores the PP of all the moves? That's what an Elixir does? I didn't really look. Wait, so are all her PPs back? Let's double check everything before I go into this battle here. Where? I missed it. Where the frig is it? There we go. Yep, Super Fang PP is all good, and Parasong PP is all good. One other thing I'm going to do before I go into this battle is I'm going to switch the amulet coin off of, uh, of Drake there. I am going to instead... Put something else on him. What? I don't know yet. Maybe the burn thing? I, I don't know what to put on him. Uh, I don't think any of these are going to be uh, a concern here. I don't have any ghost moves. I'm trying to see if any of these items will come in clutch here. I don't have... Uh, no, I want to keep... I don't want to keep an item on 21, because I like that Acrobatics does a significant amount of damage if he doesn't have anything. I don't have any HP restoring moves. Smoke Ball. No, I'm not going to need to flee. I, I think this one, actually. I think I'll put the thing on him that boosts his uh, special defense, because I know I like to lead with him and against Cynthia, and that Spiritomb, I think all of the Spiritomb's moves are uh, special moves. So, well, let me check one more time. Actually, I'll go up the escalator, and then I'll do one more check before we go in there, just that everything is in order. Oh, I really hope this is it. I I want this team to win so bad. I want this underdog story to happen so bad. All my items look good. All my PP looks good. Okay. So, I'm going to get Drake in there, get my Stealth Rock set up, and then I... I think I might save the toxic spikes to get set up a little later in game because Lucario doesn't get affected by them and once Roserade gets sent in there they get evaporated completely so I'm not gonna worry about the spikes toxic poison spikes until a little bit later in the game once they get rid of Roserade at the very least so that they won't be soaked up but they will affect Garchomp and they will affect uh Gastrodon they will affect Spiritomb as well, but Spiritomb is first, so that doesn't matter too much, I suppose. I wish I had a move that I could put Spiritomb to sleep with. Okay, so here's what I'll do. Uh, actually, I'm thinking about it. I don't even know if it's worth it to get the Stealth Rock set up. I, I, I'm going to try something else. Fuck it. I'm going to try this and then the waterfall. Or maybe I might even do another curse if it looks like he could take another hit. I know he uses Dark Pulse, which does a good... Actually, didn't Dark Pulse one hit this guy? Oh, close. Okay, so if I go first, hopefully this waterfall does some damage. Does some good damage here up against uh, Spiritomb. Not bad at all. Oh, well, that's a bit of a shame, but not bad at all otherwise. After this, maybe I get uh, Push Icy out there. And I'll do a crunch or two. 
Okay, yeah, you know what? Now I'm not gonna have Stealth Rock at all. I guess that's not the biggest deal in the world. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, I'm gonna get Poo out there and... Or maybe I should have sent out PP. But it is what it is. I'm gonna try to get some crunches going. And maybe after a crunch or two, I'll, I'll do a Volt Switch and I'll get, uh... I'll get PP in there. If it lowers his defense, it didn't lower his defense. I wish it did. Please don't one hit me. Okay, not ideal. And my special defense is down, so another one will definitely kill me. Not ideal. I'm gonna Volt Switch and I'm gonna get, uh. I'm gonna get PP in here. Ooh! Oh, baby! Oh, baby! Yes, come on back, PP. Oh, man, this is big. This is big. I'm gonna get PP out there next. Who actually? Who's she gonna send out next? I know it's gonna give me the option to check. My low tick. You know what? I might want to keep Poo out there against my low tick if that's the case. I have five Parish songs. Fuck! I don't know what to do here. I'm thinking maybe I, no. I don't want to get the spike set up in case she sends out um, Rosarade. So no, I'm gonna get uh, Poo back out there. I know I just Volt switched out of, with Poo, but... No, I wouldn't have been able to do that in a competitive battle, I know. I am going to... Uh, what does she have? She has Ice Beam, I think Recover, Surf, Scald. I don't remember what she has exactly. But uh, I, I'm just going to go for a Thunderbolt and we'll see what happens here. I really want this team to win. Come on, Paralyze, Paralyze, Paralyze. There we go, baby. Come on. Don't move because you're paralyzed. Come on, baby. Suicide Squad's gonna do it. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. This is it. This is the one. Full restore? Nope. She's done. She's done. She's done. Oh my god. Come on. And especially if I could save um, PP and Kamaya for Garchomp, I, I think we're good here. Gastrodon is a pain in the ass. I really hate Gastrodon. So we're gonna switch out... Uh... Shit, Gastrodon has what? I don't remember exactly what Gastrodon has. But I know it's a pain in the butt. A big pain in the butt. I think I'm just going to keep Poo out here. Because Poo's big play is taking down my low tick in this thing. So I'm going to keep Poo in there. I'm going to go for some crunches. Maybe get the defense down a little bit. Doesn't do too much. Defense doesn't go down. Earthquake, I think Poo is done as a matter of fact. Yeah, Poo is done. Poo is done and that's a shame. Uh, I, I don't know who to send out here. This Gastrodon really does annoy me. I'm thinking maybe I'll get, uh... P maybe I'll get PP in there? I don't... Does this Gastrodon have Ice Beam? I don't think it has Ice Beam. I don't have anything that's very type effective. So I'm thinking maybe I'll just get PP in there, put him to sleep, and, and do a couple Dragon Claws or a couple Flies or something. Come on, hit, sing, hit. Please, please, please. Oh, come on. It's over. It's over. Well, not real. I shouldn't. It's not over. I'm not trying to jinx myself. It is far from over, but we are we are making some good progress here. Okay, leftovers. No biggie. I'm not sure if I'm going to go for the fly or the dragon claw here. I'll go for the dragon claw. Especially because it's asleep. I could afford. Oh well. Oh, I forgot I had rock tomb. Come on, don't die. Okay, that's not horrible. Uh, and that was a crit? Okay. Oh, but what fell? Defense? Speed. Okay, that's... Mm, speed is not ideal to have to lose because I want to use her for Garchomp later. I'm going to do another thing. I got to get her asleep again. Okay, well, that's a shame. Rock Tomb? Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Baby. Baby shit. Baby shit. Okay, okay, um, should I go for the, I'm gonna go for the fly, not the sing again, I'm gonna go for the fly. Oh, come on, these god darn leftovers. This Gastrodon really pisses me the frig off sometimes. Okay, not a terrible amount of, terribly nice amount of damage. I gotta get PP out of here, because I can't have PP dying. 
Um, I think right now if I use a Hyper Potion on PP, she will be back at full health. So I might switch PP out here. But I don't know what the hell to do without without PP here. Maybe, come on, I'll, I'll do the same, fall asleep and I'll get PP out of there. And I'll try to get someone else in to come take care of business against Gastrodon here. Okay. Okay. Or should I just try to kill it with PP? But if it wakes up, I, I cannot have PP dying. And I don't want to have, even if she does, die, not dying, not dying. I do not want to have PP fainting. And even if she does faint, I could have someone else come in. And then just, I don't want to have to waste two turns on reviving her. This is a risky move, but I'm doing it. On reviving her and then, uh... Getting her her HP back somehow. This is very risky, but we're doing it. Okay, good. I'm gonna go for an acrobatic. Hopefully an acrobatic will be enough. Fuck, I for keep forgetting about the leftovers. That's a real pain in the butt. And even if it gets her down to the red, she might use a full restore. See what happens. Come on, come on. Kill her. Darn it. Oh god, I think... Oh, oh man, 21 might be done. What? Why is nothing doing as much damage as I remember it doing? I didn't level that much since the, the last couple times I battled her. Not including the last video, because this was this is directly after the last video. But you know what? In that case, I'll get a power-up punch going. I'll get my, my attack up a little bit. Maybe that way, once Lucario gets out, I can uh, take care of Lucario a little easier. Wow. Wow. This is big. If I get another power-up punch or two in there, I might be able to one-hit Lucario so long as he doesn't one-hit me first. And Lucario is one of the biggest pains I have when I go up against Cynthia. That Aura Sphere is absolutely deadly. Okay, come on. You could take it, right? You could take it, right? Yeah, you can. I don't know why it's it's doing... Oh, this... These... Oh, damn it. This speed falling is bad news. Very bad news. Because what that means is Lucario is absolutely going to be faster than me if he wasn't going to be already. We'll do another one. This might be enough. Oh, darn it. Okay, well, you know what? Better on Gastrodon than on Lucario or on anyone that's more dangerous, I suppose. Like, such as Garchomp or anyone. Oh. Oh, man, these leftovers. Does he not have any other moves besides Rock Tomb to use against me? Okay, come on. One more might be enough here. Oh, God! Oh, God, no! Fuck! Fuck! That is... Oh, that is horrendous news. Absolutely horrendous news. Oh, my goodness. I don't know what to do now. I really don't know what to do now. Oh, I had so much banking on that. Why didn't they use Earthquake earlier if they had it? Oh, that is, that is horrendous news. Oh my goodness. I might have to be pretty cheap here and go for Sing Parish songs here. Shit. I have so much banking on Infernape surviving those rock tombs. Fuck. I don't have any setup either. I didn't get any setup going. I might just get a Parish Song going. I could spare a couple of Parish Songs and... Oh, man. Just to force the switch. Maybe I could take out her other two first. Oh, shit. I wish I had Mean Look or something to make it so they couldn't escape. Then this Parish Song would be ridiculously overpowered. Maybe I get a critical hit here or something. Ice Beam? Oh no, this doesn't have Ice Beam, I forgot. Oh man, oh my god, this is very bad. This is very bad. This is very bad. This is very bad. Oh my god. Maybe I use a fly here, because then I avoid this attack, and then they definitely switch out next turn. Maybe even the fly kills him, I don't, or, or knocks him out, I don't know, we'll see. 
The faint kill thing reminds me of, like, I used to be in Nerf Club in one of my colleges. Oh no, isn't her count gonna go to zero now? Fuck, well at least the fly will kill Rose, or, or make Roserade faint. I hope at least it'll one hit Roserade, cause she's a real pain. Okay. Oh, her parish count's gonna go down now. Gosh darn it. I didn't think that one completely through. <laughs> Level 75 PP cocaine. Okay, well maybe I have to use a revive on PP. Or honestly, maybe Kamaya might be able to do this on her own. And we still have Aquafina. If Kamaya could take a couple of hits, we would definitely not be in bad shape here. I'm gonna send out Aquafina first. I forgot Gastrodon was still friggin' alive, darn it. Still gotta deal with this annoying Pokemon. So Roserade's dead. Luke, er, er, fainted. Oh, I don't know what the right move is here. I really don't. I don't think this is gonna be enough to, to... Damn it. Is Rock good against Poison? I don't remember. Nope, not super. Not a huge deal. These darn leftovers. I'm gonna get a spike set up. I've made a decision. I'm gonna get a spike set up. Oh, this is done. Aquafina's done. Oh my gosh! So here's what I'm gonna do. I was hoping not to use revives during the battle, but I'm gonna get another spike set up, probably lose Aquafina, unless she hangs on because she loves me, and then I'm going to get, um... I'm gonna revive... Yep, good, 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 good. I'm gonna use this time to revive... PP. I'm gonna revive PP. And... Force some switches with Parish Song. And get everyone poisoned, except for Lucario. Okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna- this- I sh ah, these leftovers. I'm going to get everyone poisoned except for Lucario, because I can't get Lucario poisoned. Okay, I'm gonna get Kamaya out there now. See if I can eliminate... See if I can eliminate Gastrodon. Oh my god, you have to be joking. You've got to be shitting me. What is that, speed? Yeah, okay. I'm thinking of maybe using another revive. Just so I have extra Pokemon alive, honestly. I'll bring 21 back. Earthquake? Oh no, another Rock Tomb, okay. Or you know what? Maybe I- Maybe I bring- I bring Drake back in? I'm gonna bring Drake back, back in and get a Stealth Rock set up. I have my two Poison Spikes set up. I know a Stealth Rock isn't gonna do a ton against who I've got left, but if I could keep forcing switches with Perish Song and I got my setup going- Scald, why didn't you use that before? Watch me get burned, too. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, if I can get my whole setup going with my spikes and... No, not run. With my spikes and my stones, I think Drake could tank a hit here. Especially if it's another Scald. And then maybe force some switches with Parish Song. Get everyone poisoned and get everyone hurting when they come in and out. Yeah, Scald, Drake will take that. Drake will take that. Get a Stealth Rock going, and maybe start forcing some switches here, and see what we could do. I don't know if anyone's even gonna watch this, but if I did have people watching this, I would imagine the comments full of things such as, Oh, well, you should've just did that, or you should've just played better, or here's what you should do. And I'm probably not gonna get a single comment, but if I were to get comments, yeah, God, Drake is goodbye. If I were to get comments, that's what I would imagine they would look like. Because I'm, I'm not super good at this game, honestly. I try to think about it, you know, as... 
much as I can and stuff like that. But I'm not a super master military strategist, general, or anything like that by any means. So. Oh, man. I'm thinking of getting 21 in there. I'm going to get 21 in there. And I'm going to heal up uh, PP. Will a hyper potion fully heal? Yeah, a hyper potion will fully heal PP. And if I survive this with 21, I might fully heal Kamaya back up too. Earthquake, done. Unless he hangs on because he loves me. No, he doesn't love me enough. Lucario also has Dragon Pulse, which I have to be very careful of with PP. So I'm going to get PP in there. Get a Perish Song. Or should I, you know, I'm going to go for a Sing first. Risky move, I know, but I'm doing it. Okay. Oh, man. That means Gastrodon won't be able to get poisoned, but since the HP is so low already, that's not a huge deal, I guess, but they're going to recover with friggin' leftovers, so maybe it is. The, maybe I should have tried to get them poisoned instead. Okay, so we got that going. We'll get a Parish going. I wish I had one Pokemon with a Grass move on my team, because if I did, this would have been way over by now. Okay, down to three, baby. So I'm gonna, I'll go with some Dragon Claws instead of the Flies. In case I forget that I have Perish Song on again. Critical hit? No? Okay, okay, one more of those. If she doesn't use a Restore right now, maybe one more of those. Mm. Leftovers. Hopefully one more of those, maybe Gastrodon is done. Okay, I think Gastrodon might be done. Come on, come on. Okay. So I'll switch out PP. All I have is PP and Kamaya right now. I have to switch because otherwise she's going to die. So I'm going to send in Kamaya. Damn, Kamaya is definitely not faster than Lucario. She's going to get killed here, which is a real shame. Because if she doesn't, that earthquake would do some pretty big damage against Lucario. Oh man, I don't know if I should... Come on, get... Oh no, he can't get poisoned because he's steel type. This earthquake would definitely take him out. So I'm. Um, God damn it. I can't do it. I have to revive. I have to revive. Who should I bring back for now? Honestly, I might bring back Drake or 21. Because who's left? So we have Gast or Lucario and Garchomp are left. Pooh is not going to do anything against either. He's not going to... Nothing he has is going to be very good against Garchomp or Lucario. So, maybe not Pooh. 21 is pretty fast. And if we can get that Mach Punch up somehow, that would be good news. So, I... I uh, we're going to go for 21. Come on. Come on, miss the hit or something. Oh, damn it, Kamaya's gone now, too. Oh, man, this is very tough. This is so freaking tough here. Maybe, oh, he's gonna one-hit PP with a, a Dragon Pulse. But you know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna go for the... Uh, I'm gonna go for the Sing Perish song. I don't know what else to do. Damn it, come on, come on, come on. Come on, please don't die. Oh, my God, I could take another one if I needed to. Oh, come on. Perish Song, then we can get Garchomp poisoned, which is a good step. A good step. Okay, we're gonna get a Perish Song going. Good. Good. We're gonna get a Fly going. And then probably switch- Oh, come on! Please hang on, PP! Please, PP. Please, PP. Oh, thank goodness. She's gonna die after this, though. Actually, maybe not, because I could switch out. Oh! 
That did a very large amount of damage. Oh, I, so I have to switch it out with PP, but she's gonna switch out too. So we'll get 21 in there with, um... Unless she doesn't switch out, is she gonna let Lucario die? Wow, she's gonna let Lucario die. Please hang on, 21. By the seat of your pants, please hang on. Oh, he didn't even need to hang on. Oh, come on. Come on, we could do this. Oh my god, we can do this. Oh my god. Come on. Oh my goodness. So here's what I'm thinking. I switched out to PP. Is PP faster than Garchomp? Don't know, unsure. Oh my god. But I I'm hoping to put Garchomp to sleep. Get a Parish song in. We'll do a couple of revives. So even if PP dies, it's not the biggest deal. To the Parish song. No, wait a minute. You know what? If I do the Parish song now, I think we win. If I do the Parish song now, I think we win. Because if I, I still have... 21 alive so i do a let's say this turn i do a perish song but i have to be faster is the problem i must be faster is the problem and i don't know if pp is faster how can i look at her stats check summary i don't know if she's faster 154 i i don't know i don't know if if she's faster we win because we can perish song and then just keep reviving oh my god Oh, no! No! PP! Oh! Oh my god, we won! Holy shit, we did it! We did it! Oh my god! I'm not- let me not start celebrating yet. Everything seems to be in order. As of now, everything seems to be in order. Oh. I think we could do this. Oh, man. Let me get Aquafina alive, because she's a little under-leveled. She could use some points. Oh. I think the Suicide Squad has done it. Okay, that's, once again, when it's twice in a row like that, much like before with Aquafina, I don't feel it's very much earned, but... You know what? At this point, let's see if we could have did it without the Parish Song. Let's see what a Dragon Claw would have done. Okay, well now we're gonna die for sure, so never mind that, but... No, wait, come on, three times in a row, that's... That's... That's definitely extra, it doesn't feel deserved, but... You know what, this is the Suicide Squad, the Suicide Squad needs a little help. Wow, we could have did it without the Parish Song, because now Garchomp's gonna get poisoned and die. Well, PP died anyway. I had a couple playthroughs, a couple of times versus Cynthia... Oh my god. Oh my god. I'll finish my story later. We did it. We did it. The Suicide Squad has done it. This ragtag group of misfits that nobody wanted has become Pokemon League goddamn champions. Hall of Famers, baby! Oh my goodness. How rewarding it feels to take a group of nobodies, a group of outcasts, a group of misfits, a group of, of, of Pokemon that nobody, including me, thought could do it, that nobody wanted to do it, the outcasts, the second choice, the rejects, and for them to come together like this and become champions. Wow. How incredible is that? I can't wait to see the graphics on the screen of all these, these misfit ragtag group of Pokemon entering the Hall of Fame. Oh my goodness. Where's Professor Rowan to come congratulate me? There he is. What a rewarding achievement that is. Splendid. You weren't even there. How did you know? Oh. That's right. I'm no child, Professor. I'm the champion. My goodness, I am so excited to see my Suicide Squad there. Oh my god, let's go. Oh, wait, I gotta get my phone ready. I gotta get this on Snapchat. Hold on a minute. Oh my god. Wow. Okay, my phone is ready. I'm ready to snap this. Sam, welcome to the Hall of Fame. 
Wait, hold on. Let me turn my my snap camera on my cell phone the other day. Your names will be recorded for posterity here. Let's go. Let's see him. Let's see him. The Suicide Squad has done it. This group of misfits, this ragtag group of Pokemon that nobody wanted, that I didn't want, that nobody thought could do it, that nobody thought could achieve the impossible and win the Pokemon League, become the Pokemon League champions. Look at Bieberell. Look at Drake. Pokemon League champion. Look at Pushaisty. Pokemon League champion. Look at Kamaya, Pokemon League champion. Look at him. Aquafina, Pokemon League champion. Oh my goodness. PP -pee Cocaine. Pokemon League Champion. Last but not least, 21 Savage, Pokemon League Champion. Where are they? Show them. Let's see them. Let's see them. Come on. The Suicide Squad. Oh my god, Pokemon League Champions, baby! Oh ho ho! Let's fucking get it! Okay. The snap video is over. I know I repeated myself a bunch. But, uh... I wanted to get everything I said on snap, too. What a monumental day this is. What a, an absolutely tremendous day this is. All of these are Pokemon that I caught in the Grand Underground. Already level 30, level 40. And I don't like to catch Pokemon that late, because I like to raise them from young, and I like to get all the moves I want on them as they level up, and raise them, etc, etc. So I didn't want these Pokemon. I didn't care about these Pokemon. I didn't think these Pokemon could do it. I didn't expect these Pokemon to do it. But baby, look at us now. Look at the Suicide Squad now. Look at my children. Well, wait, I shouldn't be taking credit for their accomplishment. You know who I am? If these Pokemon are the Suicide Squad, if you've seen the movie, I am the person sitting in the chair that didn't think they could do it and just wanted the mission done. That's who I was. I'm talking all this talk about non-believers and haters. I was the number one non-believer and hater of this team. I was. And now look at them. League champions. Every single one of them. Every single one of them. Wow. What a monumental freaking day this is. The Suicide Squad has come together. Now we sit and we enjoy the scenery. Oh my god. What a satisfying, satisfying win that is. You see, with the Avengers, my first playthrough when I beat Cynthia, I kind of expected it. You know, it's standard. You play through a Pokemon game, you raise your Pokemon, you become the Pokemon League champion. We've all been there, we've all done it. And it's not like it's not special, it's not like it doesn't mean anything, you just, you know, you kind of expect it. You think to yourself, sooner or later, I'm going to finish the game, and I'm going to, you know, my starter, the first one I picked, is going to win the Pokemon League, and all the Pokemon I catch along the way and raise. But this time, it's a little different. This time it's just a little bit more special. Because like I said, these are Pokemon that... These are not the Pokemon I wanted. These are not Pokemon I expected to get to this point with. These are not Pokemon I thought I could win with, honestly. I thought I was going to have to level them up a whole bunch more, maybe catch a couple of different Pokemon. But this... This is... This is very heartwarming to me. I'm almost tearing up now just talking about it. You can do anything. If this ragtag, I know I keep saying it, but if this ragtag group of misfit Pokemon, I keep saying it because that's what they are. If this ragtag group of Pokemon that nobody wanted, that I didn't want, can become Pokemon League champions, what's stopping you? And what's stopping me? Goodness gracious, how satisfying this is. What a satisfying conclusion this is to a Pokemon playthrough. You know what's going to happen after this? I'm going to take that ditto to the breeding center, to the nursery in Slaceon Town. I'm going to breed that team that I originally wanted for this playthrough. And I'm going to start a new game eventually. Before I start that new game, I, I think I'm going to trade the Suicide Squad over to my friend too. Because these may have been Pokemon I didn't want and I didn't believe in. But god damn it if they didn't make believers out of me. So yes, the team that I originally wanted to do my second playthrough of this game with, I'm going to get that team because I'm going to breed eggs and I'm going to trade the eggs over to my friend and hack to hatch the eggs in the new game. And I'm going to have the playthrough that I wanted this playthrough to be in my next one.
I will. But, God damn it, despite that, I am going to really treasure my time, time with the Suicide Squad. With 21 Savage, with Kamaya, with Poo Shiesty, with PP Cocaine. My device storage got full there, so I had to delete some stuff and start a new video. But as you can see by where the credits are at, it hasn't been too long. But as I was saying, I am going to start a new game soon. I'm going to erase this save data and start a new game. And I will be able to have the team that I wanted... I will be able to have the playthrough that I wanted this playthrough to be. I will be able to have the team that I wanted this team to be, originally. But I will be forever impacted by what the Suicide Squad did in this playthrough. What every single one of them did. As I was, I think I was saying their names when I got caught off, cut off. I will be forever impacted by what 21 Savage did. By what Drake did, a B-doof that I caught at level freaking 5. By what Pushaisti the Luxury did that I caught in the Grand Underground. That was already far too high a level. At what Mama Swine did, what Kamaya did, that I caught as a baby swine up in the underground. By what Skaroopy that I caught did, that I named Aquafina and raised into my toxic spike set up Drapion. By what PP Cocaine did by coming in clutch numerous times, forcing switches with that Parish song. Who else was on my team? I said 21, my trusty starter, Drake, Pooh, PP. Who else did I have on my team? Damn it, who am I forgetting? I'll have to check in a second, but I know I'm forgetting some people or some Pokemon. Who was I forgetting? PP, Pooh, Drake. I'm gonna see right now and feel like an idiot. 21, Kamaya. No, I mentioned Kamai. I think I mentioned all of them, actually. But ladies and gentlemen, here we are. And guess what? When we check out these guys now, you know what we're going to see? Where does it say Hall of Fame? Is that Hall of Fame? There we go. No matter where I trade him. No matter what happens to him. Well, I, nothing's going to happen to them. I'm going to trade them, and that's really going to be it. And I'll use them for online battles, maybe. And they will... No, not bag. Where am I going? They are going to join the ranks of the Avengers. The top row here is my original six. And check it out. They all have the Sinnoh Ribbon badge. And now I have a second team with the Sinnoh Ribbon badge on them. The Suicide Squad. Taught me that I could do it. That taught you that you could do it. And you know what? Hey, you never know. Well, some of these Suicide Squad members really stepped up in a big, big way. And you never know. Maybe some of the Suicide Squad maybe get promoted to Avengers one of these days. Maybe some of them get promoted to trainee Avengers, we could say. Intern Avengers. New Avengers. Hey, you know what? Maybe one day I'm doing a battle online, and maybe I say, hey, maybe we could put 21 Savage in there. Maybe we could give Young M.A. a break. Or maybe we could put uh, Kamaya in there instead of Roserade, instead of Lauren Hill. You never know. But for now... This has been the Egglowitz Variety Show. Don't ask what it's about, because I still don't know. That was me battling Cynthia, getting strangely emotional over a video game, but I guess that's what art can do to you sometimes. In all seriousness, though, I've been watching back... Okay, context first. The From the Vault series, I think I've mentioned this in a video before, all the From the Vault videos are videos that I recorded some time ago, years in some cases. I think these Pokemon videos are about a year and a half, two years old. Um, and I'm now slapping these intros and outros on them presently, and then uploading the complete package, kind of, as YouTube videos. That's what the From the Vault series is. And I'm, ha I'm going back to watch all the old videos before I upload them, to make sure that they are, uh, something I want to put on the internet. And I do, I was watching back this Pokemon League one, this particular video that you just watched, and I don't remember getting that emotional about a poke about the game. 
and this team, and I'm not sure if I was doing a bit or not. I really don't remember. It didn't sound like I was. I, I don't know. I must have been pretty moved, and it's moving me to maybe make some more Pokemon content soon. I'm getting inspired and looking back at, like, lists of different teams I wanted to try to play through the game with, and I know I still have a bunch of eggs on my friend's Nintendo Switch that she's, uh, holding on to, holding on to for me. So I'm thinking maybe I'll get back into the Pokemon stuff sometime soon. Uh, maybe not, and that's okay, too. Uh, this is probably going to be the last Pokemon video for a while. I do have, in the From the Vault series, some more Pokemon videos, but I'm going to hold off on uploading those for a bit and maybe, uh, upload some other From the Vault stuff. If I even, I might not even have other From the Vault stuff. I don't know. I might upload another Pokemon video tomorrow. We'll see what happens. Alright, I played the song already. I think we're good to go. Thank you very much for being here.